Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another episode of talking about diseases, disabilities, and disorders. Probably not particularly in that order, but we're going to go with it anyway. So, in the first episode, we discussed something that is extremely well known, but extremely over exaggerated OCD. Well, this time we're going to be talking about something that is on the opposite side of the spectrum. It's barely known at all. But for some weird reason, a lot of people have a tendency to have this kind of mindset. Whether it's the actual disorder or not, depends on the person. Today, you know, in case the title hasn't given it away, we are going to be talking about something called Codard Delusion. Now let me go through some of the symptoms of Codard Delusion before we actually discuss it. First of all, one thing that has a tendency to bring forward this particular disorder is a lack of self-awareness. Another would be the belief that, you know, you're either dead or non-existent. These are a couple of uh, different symptoms of the disorder itself. There are quite a few more that kind of appear along the way, but usually those are the first ones to come up. Actually, it's never implied, but as I was originally thinking through this, one film from the 1980s came to mind. The film The Sixth Sense. Now, obviously this was never directly stated or implied or confirmed or anything like that. But the more I thought about it, the main character in The Sixth Sense, it felt like he may have been going through this particular disease. I'm not going to go too much into detail about the story for those who haven't seen it or anything, because that would... I mean, it's a 1980s film. It's outdated itself. It Honestly, it didn't really age well, in my opinion, anyway. Jeez, my hair is being a butt. Yeah, I'm looking over at my hair every time I look over this way, or myself in general. Anyway, a good example of someone who goes through quarter disease is somebody who starts to hallucinate that they're just not there, that they're dead. But they'll try to talk to another individual and it's just not noticed in their mind. I mean, the individual may be responding. Hey, what's up? When you say, hi, and in your in the eyes of the person, the individual's just passing by. But to them, and to them that's what they see, but in reality the person's going, oh, hey, buddy. Well, it's kind of a prime example of what could potentially showcase this kind of thing. Another thing that could pile on to like the different symptoms is depression. Anxiety, panic attacks. Any of these three things can bring forward the potential to have coder, dis coder delusions. Now one of the first symptoms I listed was the belief that one is dead or does not exist. This is the particular symptom that pinpoints this disability on its own, as its own thing. Coder delusions come from the idea that you think you're immortal because you're dead. You think you're an illusion, you're immortal, you cannot be hurt. Because you're either a spirit or you're already dead. This doesn't particular obviously this doesn't make it true, but there are several individuals in the past who have believed that. Honestly, it's quite sad, but it is what it is. I think a good example of this. Could, I mean, I don't have it listed out directly. 
There aren't that many examples, but I can guarantee this. This kind of thing is found in movies a lot. The best example actually still in my mind would be The Sixth Sense. Because The Sixth Sense is about a kid who claims to see dead individuals when in the long haul it's the other way around. In this case, it's just kind of, in a way, depressing. It's upsetting to see people in this, ca in this case. Now what I just described in The Sixth Sense might seem like the reverse, but I don't think so. Now I'm not going to go into detail about that. If you guys want to hear about this kind of thing, I can make it a theory. I'm already working on one on the site anyway in regards to the disorder PTSD, which I'm not going to talk about until after said theory has been posted, if it gets posted. If not, then I'll talk about it at some point. Anyways, these are my thoughts on quarter delusion. There's not much to talk about just due to the fact of how rare it is and how unknown quarter delusion is. But what are your guys' thoughts? Have you ever had the feeling that you might be dead or might be an illusion of sorts or you might be invincible because you feel like you've already passed away? I don't know. I don't. Especially thanks to Pink Fox, but who knows. Thank you guys for watching this video, though. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. If you got a suggestion for a specific uh, disorder, disease, disability, like discussed on this playlist, let us know in the comments below. Or if you want to check out one that's been discussed already, click the link on the side of my head uh, here. And you'll be able to check that out. Or if this isn't quite what you're looking for, why not click the link on the other side where you might be able to find something you may enjoy a bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, everyone, and we hope to catch you guys in another. See you guys later.